Hello all and welcome along as we review and go through the World Series of Darts 2022 from this past weekend. A festival of darts dominated by excellent finishing, a few surprises and sadly an unsavoury crowd. But an event that will ultimately be remembered for a sensational final. But let's begin our roundup of the action in round one. Ryan Joyce came into this tournament on the back of an average year, I think it's fair to say, so he needed a decent run to set him up for the rest of the year. And despite being 4-2 down against Danny Baggish, he got it as he clawed his way back to defeat Baggish in a last leg decider. And he's taken it. Ryan Joyce holds his nerve. In a battle of the Aussies, it was Damon Hetter who overcame compatriot Gordon Mathers in a comfortable 6-3 win. Number one, Damon Hetter comes over. Dirk van Dijvenbode survived a match dart against Harpu Puha on the ball in his first round match. With a bit of help from the whistling crowd, Still looking for it. Puha missed and Dirk escaped getting over the line in the deciding leg. This wouldn't be the last time the crowd got involved during this tournament, sadly. The pick of the first round ties was Queen of the Palace Fallon Sherrick taking on world champion Peter Wright. Fallon was excellent on her double throughout and kept up with Wright for 4-4. Four, four. Wright would eventually get the job done, however, winning through 6-4. But it works this time around. There were also first round wins for Dave Chisnell, Leonard Gates, Matt Campbell and Danny Noppert. Into round two now, and below par, Gary Anderson struggled to get going. Well, Dirk van Dijvenbode took advantage to make the quarterfinals. Dave Chisnell refused a shot at the ball for the match against Joe Cullen, and the crowd didn't like it. So proceeded to boo every dart he had at a double for the match. He is going through the ring. Oh, Dave Chisnell. Sadly for him, he missed six. And Joe Cullen took advantage to win 6-5. Dimitri Vandenberg came into the tournament as the number one seed, but Ryan Joyce didn't read that script. With some quality scoring and finishing, he dominated a rather subdued Dimitri Vandenberg for a 6-2 win and into the quarterfinals. Price survived a scare as he found himself 5-4 down to Matt Campbell. In a game where Campbell missed a lot of chances early on, chances he ended up regretting missing as Gezi took out 1-1-3 for 5-5 to break the throw before winning 6-5 in a deciding leg. Michael Smith and Peter Wright is a true heavyweight contest and it didn't disappoint. Smith's scoring was excellent and even gave himself a shot at a 9 data. It wasn't meant to be though, but he recorded a 6-4 win anyway with a 101 checkout. Also wins in round two for James Wade, Michael Van Gerwen and Johnny Clayton. Into the quarterfinals now and the business end of the tournament. Cullen went six perfect darts in, six perfect, perfect darts. but it wasn't enough as Gerwin Price made it into the semi-finals. Ryan Joyce and Dirk van Dijvenbode produced a thrilling match as Dirk rushed into a 6-2 lead with this 131 finish. But Joyce wasn't beaten as he clawed his way back for 7-7, he then missed the ball for 8-7 and eventually they were all square at 8-2. Then an amazing leg where both missed 12 darts at a double. Dirk stuck on double one and he just couldn't hit it. Every amateur watching this match knowing exactly how he feels. But Joyce couldn't hit the double either, but eventually he did for 9-8 and one away. He then wires tops in the next leg for the match. Dirk digs in and goes two on the spin to win the decider for a 10-9 win. And a place in the semi-finals. Michael Smith couldn't replicate his form v Peter Wright against James Wade as Wade waded him with his set of Wade finishing. He took 110 for a comfortable 10-5 win. MVG started well v Johnny Clayton and went six perfect darts to make it 6-4. Clayton 
hit the Clayton of a 1-2-1 on the ball, however, to start his run as he won six of the next seven legs to win 10-7. A great run ultimately for Ryan Joyce, but an exciting semi-final lineup all the same. Into the semis and Wade and Price exchange the first 12 legs on a race to 11. Price takes this 103 out, however, to take control and eventually go 10-6 up. Ultimately, that was it for Wade, as despite a mini revival, Price would make the final 11-9. Dirk Van Dyvenboda and Johnny Clayton would follow a similar pattern as they shared the first 14 legs for 7-7. Seven, seven. Clayton missed for 8-7 and never really recovered as Dirk makes his second major final v Gerwin Price. Could he get revenge for the 2020 World Grand Prix where Price beat him in the final? Before we show you the final, just a quick note from me to thank everyone who's recently subscribed to the channel. It really does help massively, so thank you very much. If you are watching this video and you're not subscribed, please hit the big red button down below as it does help me massively. The more subscribers we have, the more videos we can make. So if you find yourself watching my videos, hit the button so you don't miss out on any great content. Now let's get to the final. Well, Dirk kicked off well with some power scoring, including these 180s. Back and forth, second man, first mini break. Maximum number three. But it was ultimately Price who went 3 2 up at the break. He can and he does, and you hear the. The boot boys joined in around the midway point as Dirk went 5 4 up after Price missed. It was 5 5 at the break, however. As Price evens it up. That is a big dance and that's... Then at 7-6 down, Price hits this brilliant 1-6-2 to set up 1-4-6 before taking that out, last die in hand, for 7 all. Incredible darts. The crowd try and put him off again, but it doesn't work as he takes out 1-1-5 for a 9-8 lead. But Dirk doesn't go away and goes one away from the title at 10-9 but you just know that Gerwin Price isn't done and you get the feeling the crowd is fueling him. And at 10-10, Dirk scoring deserts him and Price takes out 90 for the match and for the World Series of Darts title. What did you think of this tournament? Did you enjoy it? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you on the next one.